Hello, everybody. My name is Adam Gordon. I'm an entertainer here at IT Pro TV, and I'm your host for this series. In this episode, we're going to take a look at file downloads in Teams. Join me here, if you will. We'll take a look at our Teams desktop client, and I'm going to zoom in so you can see where we are. We're in our navigation area, selecting our files icon, and we're in the Microsoft Teams view. And we could be in either recent or teams. It wouldn't really matter where we begin because where we're gonna go is to the far right edge of the screen. And we're gonna take a look at the more options menu to see that we can download a file. And then once we've done that, we're gonna switch our view over to the downloads menu or the downloads view and see where those files wind up. So it's kind of a one, two step, if you will. So I'm gonna start by scrolling all the way over. And we're gonna see that I have two files here. I've got one of them highlighted, which is our PowerPoint slide deck. I could highlight either one of these, it doesn't really matter. And I'm gonna to go to my More Options menu, and you'll see that both of them have a download option. As I scroll down just to show you, there's one of the options in the menu. So if we wanna download a file, I can click on this, I can click Download. Now let me zoom out so you can see what happens when I do this. When I do that, the download of the file, you'll see right down here, starts and takes place. It shows me it is downloading and then essentially shows me it's completed and it has downloaded. Those are just little uh, <clears throat> notifications that pop up at the lower right-hand side of our screen. So now we've downloaded the file, but notice nothing has changed in the view we're in. File is still listed in the Microsoft Teams view. It's right where it was in our list. It has not changed at all, but yet the file has been downloaded. Now, if you know anything about Windows and downloads of files, you'll know that if we use the File Explorer icon, either down at the bottom on our taskbar, or if we come over to our Start menu and we right click and we go to File Explorer, we could do this a variety of ways, doesn't really matter that we can go in and we can go to our downloads folder and that we would, in theory, find any and all files or content of any kind that's been downloaded. And sure enough, believe it or not, that's what's gonna happen if we go take a look for this file because it is actually sitting in our downloads folder. But we don't have to go outside of Teams to get there. We have a shortcut. We have this view right here that is our downloads item. And if we click on this, what we're gonna see as we scroll up and over just to show you where we are, is that sure enough, there is that file that I downloaded approximately a minute ago. It is downloaded, that's our status. No more options menu, just the status that says downloaded. I can open the file just by clicking on it right from here. But if I wanna to go to that downloads folder, just like we could if we go to the file explorer and go to the download shortcut, I'm gonna be able to see it. And if I click Open Downloads folder, sure enough, that folder pops right open and you could see we're on this PC in my system and I'm looking at the Downloads folder and among the other things that I have downloaded there, including the client installation for the Teams program we're using, the little install file for PowerShell, I do have the two files that we're looking at inside Teams. So really, what we're seeing in Teams is nothing more than just a shortcut right here to the downloads folder in Windows, but we do have this nice view that lists all the files for me, and if I click on it, makes it available. You could see I've clicked, and I do have the option to open that file right from the link if I choose to, but if I open it this way, you'll see it's trying to open it in Windows, and it tells me, hey, I don't seem to have the program associated with this file I need because in my Windows virtual machine that I'm running the episode demonstrations in, I don't have PowerPoint installed. Now in prior episodes in this series, I showed you how we could view this file online using PowerPoint and edit this either through the PowerPoint web viewer or right in Teams. So we do have options. We don't have PowerPoint installed on the machine. But when I click on the link from the downloads area, the only way that I can actually open something is if I actually have that program available and I can get a pop-up that'll give me an option. And a PDF, for instance, can be opened using any of the modern web browsers that we probably have on our system and maybe even something like Adobe Acrobat to view PDFs if that's what we wanna do. And I can just go ahead, I can choose Edge or any of the web browsers 
and I can pop that right open there if I want to and see it. But if I want to actually work with this PowerPoint file and I want to work with it either using the web viewer for PowerPoint or edit it right in Teams, I have to go back up here and I have to look at it either in Recent or in Teams under my Files view. And then when I come over here and I choose my More Options menu, I have options to work with it in Teams or open it in a browser, the web viewer for PowerPoint or indeed that desktop app if I do have it downloaded. So keep in mind, knowing where to go and using our menu options and our best choice to always be most productive is what our series is about and what each episode is focused on and what hopefully will make you a better and more powerful Teams user. I'll be back with more episodes shortly, but until then, happy teaming. Check out the playlist for more Microsoft Teams tips and be sure to subscribe to the IT Pro TV channel. I'm Adam Gordon and thanks for watching.